already in. Hello everybody and welcome back to another fig review and a very special fig review because it's my birthday. Woo, 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 woo. But yeah, so because it is my birthday week, there is going to be my birthday figure. Yay! So this is what Corey got me for my birthday. Um, she's not anything new, um, but she is my first Nenroy doll. So I'm very excited to open her up and take a look at her. Um, as well, I also do just, I just love Alice in Wonderland stuff. I have a Alice in Wonderland tattoo and I've got lots of other just, you know, memorabilia stuff around the house that is Alice in Wonderland so I'm very excited to have her. I'm not really sure where I want to put her yet because I want it to be somewhere I can you know pose her and stuff but something for me to worry about later. As well too I also have a cute little sailor uniform that we'll look at so we'll take a look at that later as well with just that quick package in there. But let's open her! Now I have already opened her up so you know, don't, uh, don't cancel me. Uh. To be fair, she is, um, she is pre-owned. Nothing wrong with that. Um, if, and you know me, I don't really care about pre-owned figures. They still work, so. But there's the top. Wowie. She has a nice, soft, like, very pale baby blue. And, of course, um, so she has the just normal instructions and whatnot, which there was a lot of tape on this for some reason. Um, like, where I, I'm, it's, it's tearing it, but that's fine. That's fine. She has all of her little packaging and stuff to the side as well. But, quick spinneroo of her in her blister there. Let's open it, though. Open it up. She's so cute though, look at her, she's little doll. So I'm very excited though. She of course has a couple accessories. They don't have a whole lot for these, um, just looking at it, I'm assuming it's just cause you know, they're, they're posable and stuff. Um, she's got her little dress and all the little pieces. Um, but we'll see how many um, layers and whatnot cause she does have all the clothes are removable cause they are dolls. So we'll look at that when we try on her other outfit. Um, she as well though does have her little bunk, little bow. You just put it on top. There's a little piece of plastic that you snip in. And wow, cute, she's got her bow now. Very nice. It's not all the way in, that's fine. And then she also has little shoes. Little Mary Jane shoes, pretty cute, pretty small, very exciting. I just love, I love Alice in Wonderland aesthetic. You just slip on her little shoe. So delicate. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Now something you're probably noticing, she does have little magnets on her. I did not know this, but Nenroy dolls, their stands are magnetic. But yeah, there's a magnet base on the bottom, so that way they can just bloop, stand on top of it. Well, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. <gasps> now, one thing that kind of stinks, uh, I noticed this, but the magnet that I have does end up, did end up becoming, I guess, detached from the base. So we'll probably try and glue that eventually, but not right now. Okay, so she has little, um, of course, you know, the standard extra, you know, head joint, but she does come with a couple extra hands here in a little bag. She's got a little peace sign hands and little fists so she can punch you. Pretty cute. Small fingies. So she has, it looks like this. Probably to fit underneath of the hair and stuff, I'm assuming. And then she also has, but there's this one. So interesting to see how it all kind of work together. There's also different arm pieces because I guess there's a slightly different angle. Doesn't really look like it, but that's just going to be my assumption. And I can be wrong about that. But you can switch these out. This part is magnetic, so you can, of course, keep her standing up um, and then pose her. So this is going to be a large learning process for me, so that'll be fun. Wow, look at her! Standing on her own two feet. Like a big girl. So just, you know, a spin around doodah of her just all standing up. 
um pretty cute but i won't do want to try and see her other clothes and such so we're gonna see how many how many layers there are here okay so for the clothes they got little pins on the back and that's the little apron so now she can have a little wendy's dress you know not quite as cute because she doesn't have her head on but that's fine the apron all free and then they use velcro on the little dress part now Nenroid dolls they do have a lot more articulation still pretty simple but they're not going to make these too complicated because Nenroids are simple for simple beings like me just some striping straight stockings but she does come it's a separate little petticoat it's pretty cute it's got the little tiny layers and then the dress is free something small too but it makes sense they do have where you can put the peg through the back so you can you know kind of use it like the standard nenroid where you just take it and just bloop, put it through just like that kind of spooky creepy when you have it like this uh, uh, uh. you can see what i mean though with all the articulation for all the pieces there's more in-depth videos i'm sure out there for this but just so you can can see all the different pieces they got their waist and stuff too you can keep it kind of ugly because they're probably gonna be wearing clothes but still pretty good but i'm gonna try on the sailor uniform so we got little hat outfit little pants no little, little socks little socks those are little pants and little boots her little uniform oh look how cute the little shiny buttons um, same thing, Velcro as well, and the pantaloonies are Velcro too. Pretty cute, pretty cute. We're changing on and off screen. I don't need any y'all perverts looking at this Nenroid body in the way you shouldn't. Disgusting. Look how teeny tiny the socks are. Little tiny baby feet. So small. Can't even really see much of the detail for them. I mean, they're just black fabric, but still. Tiny little baby shoes. Boom. Just little brown boots. Pretty cute. Oh, pretty cute. Come to my video. What do you get? Pretty cute. Oh, how do you describe this? It's cute. Sailor hat. Pretty simple. They got Velcro on it so you can bonk it on their head. Look at She's all dressed up. Ready in her sailor uniform. Very cute. Very cute. Wow. She's like, oh, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I broke her arm. I can feel it. I broke it. Uh, ah. I'll probably try and get something a little bit closer of it, too, but still cute. She's going to be very far away. Now, it was obviously, it was pretty tough for me to um, pose her just because my magnetic base didn't really fit in very well. And there's probably a different way I could have had it all set up, but it was definitely a bit tougher to get her on there, but still pretty cute. But let's go ahead. We're going to get her back in her Alice outfit because I do like Alice in Wonderland. This outfit is very cute, though. Release her feetsies. Ah! Nenroid feet! In case anybody would be curious, though, if you wanted to see the dress without the apron. Not anything crazy, but, you know, so you have an idea, I guess. Must be hard wearing all these layers. In the summertime? My goodness. It can be hard... To do some of the poses you want just because the joints are kind of stuck under the clothes but it's not the worst and it's not like ninroids are known for their great posability and these are pretty good considering you know yeah probably the worst thing about these I feel like you would go and get your thing all posed up and then you know, they're wearing all these layers and layers of clothes and something <laughs> falls apart in one of the layers and you're like, ah, ah, crap. <laughs> you gotta try and 
like wiggle it around. She's got a broken leg over here. All right, she's done. She's assembled. Um, but yeah, you know, um, obviously this isn't something super new and there's way more detailed reviews I am sure out there on the internet, but this was my birthday figure. So I was very excited to open her and see what she looked like and share her with you guys. Um, I will still share more pictures of her on my Instagram at Desunasis. And you can also find me at the other places um, as well. So definitely go check them out. I got lots and lots of pictures mostly. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for coming along. I hope you had a great last week. Um, and I hope to see you next week. Bye!